I'm glad that we are seeing the stock market finally pay attention to what is a rather precipitous drop in rates, especially if you think of that double top in the rearview mirror at three and a quarter. How are these markets going to get along, especially now that we have close to 10 trillion in negative yielding securities across the globe again? Welcome boons into that territory. What do you think, John? Well, bonds, the bond market, in my experience, has always been much more sensitive to economic events. And what it's telling me is that the European economic growth is much weaker than what's generally expected. That feeds, of course, into foreign earnings in the stock market. As we know, over one-third of earnings in the S&P are earned abroad. Uh, so there's a, there's a negative feedback loop uh, going on here, and we expect that to show up uh, sometime in the future. Now, let's add in. Shaq was on today, and he said something I love, that perception basically is reality in many cases. Yield curve inversion, threes to tens. Twos to tens is hovering at the flattest, back down at 10 again, uh, even toying with nine, going back to 2007. How much credence do you put into that, John? Markets react to expectations. If you expect or anticipate the yield curve inverting, you've got to anticipate a higher probability of an economic slow slowdown. That's going to make it more difficult for equities overall. Bond markets, equity markets have to interact, and you have to be focused on that. Now, let's try to put all this together. We only have about a half a minute left. Do you see a possibility that the pressure of outside the U.S. and negative interest rates may be a stronger force pushing yields down than the domestic weakness? Because the answer to that tells you if you're supposed to consider buying equities as they fall in response. Your final thought. Again, what we've seen over the last month has not been a significant change in U.S. fundamentals. It's really been a significant change in foreign fundamentals on the economic front. I think that's what's making the difference, Rick. Excellent. John Sylvia, if you're right, we'll talk next time, potentially the stock market ever closer to all-time highs.